Bluetooth speakers. I really don't like them, but it will be a really nice addition to my workshop, so I want to make one, and I will make it today. Let's start. In this video I'm not going to focus on the electronics, I'm not going to design any PCB or program stuff, we'll use off-the-shelf components, it will be pretty easy I hope so that everyone can replicate this project. What I want to focus on is the design of this speaker. I don't want to make just a Bluetooth speaker, I want to make it beautiful uh, and that's why firstly I will design this on a paper and then we'll machine it, we'll cut some stuff out of plywood and probably also felt and I may also use the Dremel CNC to cut some stuff out of wood because I don't want to 3D print any case for this project this time. I want to make it out of wood and felt. But firstly, design. I'm definitely not great at drawing, but this gives me the general idea of how I want the speaker to look like. Uh, I will probably divide this piece into segments and machine that on Dremel CNC out of some wood. Uh, then we'll glue this together and the front and back segment will have some kind of pocket so that I will be able to put a plywood here. Uh, that will have holes for the speakers and then we will add the felt at the top to hide the speakers but before I will jump into the cut design I need to check if those parts will work together and which one exactly I will use uh, to know the dimensions so let's take a look at the parts Here I have all of the parts for this project, we have big speakers, small speakers, not sure which one I will use. Uh, those are 20 watts together and here we have just 6 watts of power. Not sure if this small Bluetooth receiver will work with the big speakers. Uh, here we have some cables to connect the speakers and batteries. Here is the charger for those 18650 batteries. And two baskets, I'm not sure if I have to use just one battery or two battery. Uh, for this receiver I have to check that with my lab bench power supply. So now before the cut design I will actually connect the speakers to the Bluetooth transmitter receiver thing. Yeah, it's receiver not transmitter. Uh, and we'll see if those work together. It shouldn't really matter how you solder the cables to the speakers, but there is clearly plus and minus labeled on the speakers. So solder the yellow cable to the plus and blue cable to the minus. Uh, that way it will be correctly connected with the connector to the Bluetooth receiver. And now we'll use the power cable to connect this Bluetooth receiver to my lab bench power supply. And we'll check if it will correctly work with 3.7 volts or if we need 7.4 volts to power that. It does work extremely well without any problems uh, but I think I will try the bigger speakers because those are cool just they miss a little bit of bass uh, but it really works well and even with small speakers it's quite powerful uh, and according to the product page of the Bluetooth receiver it should also work with this kind of speakers so let's solder those and see if it will be any better You 
You probably can't hear that on video, but difference between small speakers and big speakers is huge. Uh, those big speakers are about three times more powerful than those small ones. I'm really happy that those parts work together so easily. You just need to solder the speakers to the Bluetooth receiver, connect it to the power, to the lab bench power supply, or just one 18650 battery. Uh, and then we are ready to go. And also I found out that uh, this Bluetooth receiver has the USB port and through this USB port you can charge such battery. So we probably don't even need the external uh, charger for the battery, that's cool. So now it's time to design the case in CAD and then we'll go to the workshop to machine this thing and assemble this project. Really happy with it so far. The design is ready, I have it on my laptop so we can go to the workshop and start machining. I don't even remember uh, when I made the last project with Dromo CNC, it was definitely a really long time ago. I set up everything off camera, so right now it's ready, we have the piece of wood on the Dromo CNC. I decided to go with 6mm milling bit for this piece of wood. Uh, and this will be the back of our speaker, as I said everything is ready, so I just need to click the go button and we'll start milling. CNC machining is done, so now it's time for laser cutting. I need to cut a piece of plywood that will go right here and I will attach speakers to this piece of plywood. Then we will cut some felt and this piece of felt will cover the speakers uh, so that those will be pretty much invisible from the outside. And I also need to drill a hole for the button on the back and for the charging port. That's what I wanted to see, it already looks really really nice, this connection of felt and wood is just perfect. Uh, but as for now let's take those front pieces out and we need to stick those three together with some glue.
Maybe, just maybe, when it comes to sound quality, this thing can't compete with JBL or Bose, but when it comes to design, well, choice is obvious. I hope you enjoyed this very quick build of DIY Bluetooth speaker that really looks nice. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. All the parts are in the description. Thank you very much for watching, keep making. Bye.